Okay, so I just wanted to share with you guys a book that I've been loving, and it is called Calm by Michael Smith. Yes, Michael Smith. And this guy wrote this book, Calm, as a reminder and a guide kind of how to remember to de-stress and take care of yourself. He was doing something he loved. He was somebody that started all kinds of businesses and he found something that really took off and it was something he loved doing but he found himself never taking time away from technology never taking time away from the stressfulness of life and so one day he kind of just hit a wall and he went on a vacation a holiday alone and he unplugged completely. He went on a bike ride again. He went for a hike in nature. He smelled the flowers. And that experience is what brought him really to write this book. He wants everybody to kind of remember and have something out there to kind of guide them to their calm place. To realize that you need to take care of yourself too sometimes even though life is stressful and life, life is very stressful life is stressful for everyone no matter what you're dealing with whether it be big and small there's stress there whether you're in school you're a mother you're a stay-at-home mother you're a working mother you're a single mother you are taking care of sick family you're trying to find a job there's all sorts of very stressful situations out there and we as people just need to remember that we need to unplug, we need to unwind, we need to find ways to help ourselves de-stress because if we don't take care of ourselves, it's really hard to take care of those the ones we love around us, which being me as a mother, you know, my daughter comes first, she's most important, but if I, like I've been struggling a little bit with my anxiety here you know in the past like six months to a year and it's very hard if I don't take a little bit of time to kind of deal with that it's you know it's a lot harder to take care of to fully take be there and take care of her not being kind of right in my mind but this book is done very nicely I love that it lays nice and flat because it has really, really cool activities to do with the different sections. It talks about nature and food and traveling and relationships and your children. And it has quotes. It has really cute quotes all the way from movie stars to different... Um, presidents and like Gandhi and Winnie the Pooh even it's when I'm worried and cannot sleep I count my blessings instead of sheep then Crosby and there's just a lot of really beautiful pages in this book and really cool activities and it's just very pretty and he asks questions do you ever take a walk with nowhere to go? Turn off your phone for more than five minutes? Do you savor chocolate on the tip of your tongue? And he's got different stuff about how it's never too late to eat chocolate and that you need to be proud and love and dream. And sometimes having the mindset of a child is something amazing if you need to take time and play with your child pretend that you are princesses or your knights and you're fighting a dragon sometimes their wonder and their imagination can immensely help my daughter she's one so we don't really do stuff like that but someday <laughs> we'll get to have our own adventures and I can't wait for that but sometimes putting yourself he points out you know even just playing with your child for an hour can help you de-stress their creativity that 
and the way they look at life is totally different from how we look at life. They still see wonder and they're still amazed and everything can be magical. And there's all kinds of really cool activities. This is one where you are supposed to collect, it's the love tree. And you collect leaves and you press them and you write on the leaves and it's supposed to be people that you love. And you keep them and look at them and it reminds you that you have, that you're blessed that you do have people that you love in your life. And it has 25 ways to take a break and some of them are silly and some of them are really fun. Like he says, jump, start skipping, jump, sing, take five minutes, sing your favorite song at the top of your lungs if you have to, go outside, pick a flower, when's the last time you've probably picked a flower and wanted to save it to remember and just show different things in this book. And he says, children benefit from a calm approach just as much as their parents. And he's got all kinds of different studies. He talks about research from the U.S. and from the U.K. He says, all adults can learn something from the attitude of young children. And that's a big thing to him. I don't know. I did read the section about him and it is a bit long. I don't know if it said that he had children or not, so I can't remember, but he has a like a whole section in here on children, and it says, whether you are a parent yourself or not, there is a great deal that you can learn from children's curiosity and their focus on the here and the now. In helping adults to remember how to play, children can rekindle our sense of awe and creativity, mischief through the power of optimism. Mindfulness has been found to improve parenting for both adults and children, so your calm habits will have positive benefits on your family. He's just got all kinds of different stuff in the book like that. Cute little um, projects that you can do if you have children or you can do them on your own. If you don't, little doodling different thumbprints and you can, you're supposed to see what kind of doodles you can make with them. And once you go through this whole thing and you read all of the tips on all of the different things, you do all of the activities, you're supposed to cut the bookmark out, tie it around your wrist and wear it as a reminder that sometimes you need to unplug, sometimes you need to unwind, take five minutes for yourself. And that's there to kind of help you remember the book, help you remember what you, the steps you've learned to take to get there. And the book also does something else that's really cool once you are done reading it. If I could find the page, there are spots on it and you can fold it. And once you fold each of the pages down, it will say calm which is the name of the book. I just think this is a really cool idea for a book and I'm in love with this. It is probably gonna go everywhere with me for a while until I completely do all of the activities and read everything in it. And it's not a book that's meant to read chronologically. It's just meant to do sections here and there and read bits and pieces. And I really love stuff like that. I love um, stuff you can just do a little bit of here or read a little bit of this, do a little bit of that. That kind of stuff just really appeals to me and I thought this was a really cool idea and I'm really glad I got it. I definitely recommend this for anybody that is super stressed out and they're just kind of looking for something to even ease their mind for a little while. I will put the links to this book in the description box. And I hope you have enjoyed my video. Thank you for watching.